Here we go. We're going to um, pick up right where we left off. So we left off on stage two. Um, now our caterpillar is saying, hmm, this is, this, is this how I look during stage two? You are correct. I'm known as a caterpillar. So after that, we're going to go ahead and go back to control. And we're going to once again, grab our repeat block and drag it. I want to make sure that we change 10 to five. Remember that after that, we're gonna go back to motion and we're going to gl have our butterfly glide. And um, well, but I want it to glide to a specific position. So I'm going to go to glide and um, I am going to go to, let me see, 70. And for my negative 70, and for my Y, I'm going to go ahead and type 104, okay? And after that, I want my butterfly to turn as it's gliding. And this time, I want it to turn to the left 90 degrees. So I'm going to change 15 to 90. And I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to go back to looks and drag the block that says hello, okay? And I want to say the third, oops, the third stage, the third stage of my life cycle, of my life cycle is, oops, I misspelled cycle, so let me go back and do that. Cycle, one, two, three, periods and then i'm going to change that two to three seconds after that i got to change my backdrop so i'm going to upload a backdrop and this time since my third stage is a pupa i'm going to go ahead and look for my pupa and i believe my pupa is right here so let me go ahead and open up my next backdrop, which should be the my pupa stage or chrysalis. Yep, there it is. There's my chrysalis and my pupa. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to coding. I'm going to click on my sprite, which is the butterfly. And after I typed the third stage of my life cycle is, I'm going to go back to my looks block and grab the block that says hello. Again, I'm going to erase that and oh, but before I go to that, I forgot that I want to add my backdrop. So let's go ahead and go to switch backdrop and I can tell that I did not change the name of my backdrop backdrop. So let me go back and do that right now. Okay, I do not want all those numbers. So I'm going to erase those numbers and write third stage. Okay, third stage. Now I'm gonna go back to coding, press, click on my sprite on my butterfly, and now you can see that I have the option of third stage. And now I can go ahead and bring back this block. And I'm going to type is, um, so the third stage of my life cycle, I forgot to um, add is, so I'm gonna go back and change here to is or add, not change. And this is where you get to say pupa. Also known as chrysalis. And I want to make sure that my readers have enough time to read. So I'm going to change that to um, three seconds. There's one more thing I want to say. So I'm going to drag another block that says hello. I mean, say hello for two seconds. Erase the hello. And I'm going to add my fun fact. During this stage, I transform or, metam or, go, or go through a metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Again, I think this goes really fast, so um, I'm going to change that to three seconds. After I'm done with that, I'm going to go back to control and grab another block with repeat 10. And this time I'm going to change it again to five. 
After that, I'm going to go back to motion and grab the block that says glide to a specific place. And this time I'm going to glide to negative 60. And um, for my y axis, I'm going to write 115. And that's all I'm going to show you. Um, let's go ahead and check what we have so far. And then we're going to continue adding, okay? So, so far we added our third stage. So before we move on to our fourth and last stage of the butterfly life cycle, I want to check how, how the work is coming up. It's easier if you check as um, in little ch um, segments instead of doing all this work and then realizing as you're playing your movie that you made a mistake, then you have to go back and try to figure out where you went wrong. So make sure that you, whenever you're doing your own project, that you go by chunks. It's just easier. Okay, so perfect. The third stage of my life is pupa, also known as chrysalis. During this stage, I transform or go through a metamorphosis. And um, that's all we have. Then it says repeat five and glide through um, to that. Now, if you notice, I didn't quite move a whole lot. So I think I'm going to move my butterfly a little bit more to make it more obvious that I moved. So um, I want it there. So I'm gonna go ahead and change my Y to negative 153 because that's what it says here on my X. And then for my Y, I want negative 113. Again, that's the number I found right over here on my Y axis. And I think that will be more, um, more noticeable when my butterfly starts moving around. Okay, all right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add a backdrop because now we want our fourth and last stage. Now, um, I have to upload my image because that's not, I want a specific image. So my last one, my last stage is my adult butterfly. So let me go ahead and upload my last backdrop. And here it is. Now, I don't want those numbers. I'm going to erase all those numbers and I'm going to write fourth stage. Okay, there's my fourth stage. And I'm gonna go click on coding. Go ahead and click on my sprite so I can go back to my working air, um, to my working board or my board here where I'm, I have all my work, all my blocks. So the next thing we're gonna do is after I glide, I'm going to go ahead and switch to my backdrop so switch backdrop stage, fourth stage two. And um, after I do that, I want to say something. So I'm going to stay here on looks and go ahead and grab the block that says hello. But again, we're going to erase the hello and we're just gonna go ahead and add the fourth state, the fourth and last stage of and um, stage, stage is an adult butterfly, okay? And I, instead of a period, let's go ahead and add an exclamation mark and change that to three seconds. I'm going back to my control and grab my repeat. And this time, instead of 10, I'm going to go ahead and go to four, all right? After that, I'm going back to my blue button where I'm going to my motion. And I want to um, glide. Let's go ahead and glide to a specific location. All right, this time I want to go, um, let's see. Let's try it 100 and negative 177 for my X and for my Y. Let's do negative 141, okay? I also want to turn to the right. So I'm going to grab another block from motion that it's turning to the right. But this time, instead of 15 degrees, I want to go ahead and type 180 degrees, okay? So I have that so far. I'm going to go ahead and uh, add one more, okay? I'm going to add one more block and it's also going to be on the motion one. So I'm going to stay on motion, but this time I'm going to turn 
to the left and I'm going to put it beneath a repeat bracket or or block and instead of 15 degrees I want to turn 65. Now I'm almost done we're almost done but we have one more backdrop that I want to add so let me go ahead and upload it and this is the one where the butterfly is laying the eggs on a leaf and so I want to make sure that we show that image that is a very important image because it brings you back to the whole cycle how the whole cycle repeats again so again i don't want all those numbers so let me go ahead and erase that and write fourth stage again but i'm going to write an e for eggs okay or i'm going to type the actual word eggs then i'm going to go click on code click on my sprite and now that I'm back here on turn um, turn 65 degrees, I'm going to go ahead and um, go to switch drops, backdrop. So go back to looks, grab your switch backdrop. And if you notice, there's the fourth stage eggs. It's already there for me. All right. Then after that, I'm going to say hello once more. But again, I don't want to say hello. So I'm just going to grab the block that says hello. And this time I'm going to write my fact. The adult butterfly. Oop, I misspelled adult butterfly. Butterfly looks. Ooh, what's wrong with my word? Butterfly looks for a mate and then lays her eggs on a leaf. Now that's a very long sentence so instead of two seconds let's move to three seconds and then I want to grab the one that says think we're going to um, have our butterfly think hmm and then in the life cycle begins again let's go ahead and change that to three seconds and I think I'm going to come back and change that three to oh no no, 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 I erased it. Oh, shoot. I erased something that I shouldn't have, but not to worry. I can always come back and type it again. <laughs> the adult. And as I'm typing that, I'm also checking that so far what I have is correct. The butterfly, the adult butterfly looks for a mate. Oops. For a mate. And then lays her eggs on a leaf and let's see here we go and I think it's still going so far it looks good and um, see her butterfly moved and now she's going to the fourth and last stage is an adult butterfly and I switched a little bit there I love how it goes um, goes back and forth and um and the life cycle begins again all right so now we're gonna grab our last control block we're gonna go back to repeat to 10 but this time instead of 10 we're gonna go ahead and switch that number to four i want to go back and switch where we started to our blue sky so i'm gonna go back to looks grab my switch backdrop but instead of four um i'm going to change the stage instead of fourth stage i'm going to go back to my blue blue sky after that i'm going to go back to motion look for the block that says glide one second to random positions i'm going to also grab my block in motion where it says turn to fifth to the right 15 degrees but instead of 15 i want 180 so i'm going to change it to 180 and the last block that i'm going to place is going to be this one i'm going to click on looks and then I'm going to end it here saying thanks, thanks for watching. And I'm going to say that for three seconds. Okay, and we're done, amigos. So this is a tutorial of how to create a life cycle using Scratch. Let's go ahead and... Um, Go to full screen and give it a run. Make sure that everything is running smooth. Hello, are you ready to learn about my life cycle?
And um, again, it's always a good thing to check to make sure